In this video, we're going to look at a scenario where an in-house developer has built an Azure function that simulates doing a conflict check, a common process for checking to see if you can work with a company that has inquired about taking your services. To make it easier to be used in apps and flows, we've created a custom connector that can call that service. When the developer built the service, they used the normal API key authentication. So if we look at the security on it right now, we see that API key has been configured and when we create a connection, it would prompt us for the API key that would have come from the Azure Function Code specification. We've defined one action, the check, simply takes a name of the company that we're going to check to see if we can do business with. Let's go ahead and test it to see that it works. We type in Contoso and hit test, and we get back a false, meaning that there's not a conflict. Now what we're going to do is go over to the Azure function and enable it for Azure Active Directory authentication. We'll then fix up our connector to use Azure Active Directory authentication instead of an API key. We'll start by going in to the authentication and authorization section and we'll turn on app service authentication. We're going to use Azure Active Directory so we're going to go ahead and configure that here. We're going to take the express and let it generate an application ID for our Azure function. We're then going to go ahead and select Azure Active Directory as the authentication for our function. Go ahead and save. We can see that we successfully completed our configuration. Now we're going to go back to our custom connector and we're going to do our test again. And we can see that it has failed because it can no longer authenticate to the API function. So what we need to do now is go over to security and change our authentication to Azure Active Directory. We're going to do that by changing the authentication type to OAuth 2.0, where then instead of generic, we're going to go ahead and select Azure Active Directory, and we can see that it's asking for a client ID, a secret, and the resource URL. We'll go ahead and go over to Azure Active Directory, and we can see that when we created the Azure Active Directory app for our function, it now is listed in there. We'll actually grant the new application that we're going to create permission to use that service. So let's go ahead and create a new registration. We're going to paste in our name, check conflict connector. We could call it whatever we want. We're going to take the default, which is only accounts in our organization can use this, and we're going to leave the redirect as web blank. We'll come back and fill that in later once we get the URL from the custom connector that we need to use as the redirect URL. We'll go ahead and click register. We're going to copy our application ID and we're going to paste it into our custom connector in the client ID. We're going to get a secret by going to certificates and secrets, creating a new client secret. We'll call this connector. You must copy it when it's created, otherwise it will vanish and you aren't able to see it again. So make sure to copy it to Notepad or something so you can go back and add it to your custom connector. And be aware that if you edit this again, it will ask you to re-input the client ID and the client secret again when you do that. The next thing we need to do is we need to give permissions to the Azure function. So what we're gonna do is add permissions. We're gonna go to My API. We're going to see our Azure function here, the Learn Conflict Check, and we're going to give permission to impersonate the user. We're now going to go back to our custom connector. In the resource URL, we're going to fill that out, and we're going to go ahead and do an update of our connector to save the changes. That's going to give us our redirect URL, so we're going to copy that. We're going to go back to Azure Active Directory in our application ID and go to Authentication. We're going to add a platform, web and then paste in that redirect URL and click configure. We can now go back to our custom connector, go to test. We need to create a new connection. Now because this is the first time we've used that application ID, we're prompted for permission to be able to have the application work on our behalf. So we're going to go ahead and accept. And now we're going to come down and do a test now we're going to go ahead and pick the connection that we just created instead of our original one. We're going to type in Contoso, hit test, and there we get the results. We're now working again and we've got everything hooked up with Azure Active Directory authentication.